In this video, we're going to take a look at global and local variables, and that is determined where you define your variables, that is, the scope, and it all has to do with functions. Now, variables that are defined outside a function are called global variables, and they are available to everything within your JavaScript program, so all the functions can see it and everything else. Local variables are defined within the function, and so they are considered locally scoped. And that means a local variable is visible only to the function. And that means only the function can access the local variable that's defined within it. So everything outside the function cannot see this local variable. Only the function can see the local variable. And to prove that, let's go ahead and run this simple JavaScript program, which I've done here. And we're going to print out this global variable name, and we should get Henry. So let's go ahead and run that. And as expected, we get the name Henry. Now let's go ahead and try to write out the local variable inside the function. And so we'll switch this to name2. Let's save it. And we'll go run it. And there you can see we get nothing as I expected because the document.write cannot see this local variable. Now let's go ahead and move this inside the function. And we'll just comment this out. We'll save this, and there you can see now we get the name Sarah. Because, of course, this document.write is now part of the function's instructions, and so it can see the local variable name too. Now, let's get rid of this line, and we'll uncomment this out. Now, there are a couple nuances to this which I'd like to discuss. First is, you will remember that when I did the video on variables, I said that you declare a variable with the keyword VAR. But that is not necessary. You will remember that I said if, if you don't declare it as a variable, JavaScript will see it as a variable anyways. Now, what does this have to do with global and local variables? Well, if you get rid of this var keyword, this will still be treated as a variable, but it will be treated as a global variable. And so that's the key point. If you want a local variable inside a function, you must put that var keyword in front of it. And now we should be able to see the name to keyword because it's global because we don't have the VAR keyword in front of it. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll run this. And there you can see we get Sarah. Now let's go ahead and put the VAR keyword in front of it. And now this is a local, true local variable that is. Let's go ahead and run this and we should get nothing, and we don't. So that's one little caveat to this. So again, don't forget to put that VAR keyword in front of your local variable. Now there's one other nuance I'd like to state, and that is global variables will stay alive as long as the page is loaded. Local variables, however, will disappear when the function is done whatever it's doing. So again, as long as the page is loaded, global variables hang around. But as soon as you reload it or close it out, they go away and are reloaded each time you reload the page. Okay, that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.